Hello, my name is Darren Bell. I'm going to be the instructor for this course. This is macroeconomics. We're going to be uh, talking about the big picture of economics and it'll be a fun term. So to begin, what you want to do as you start the term is you're going to want to click on the start here button that's uh, above here and walk through the start here uh, kind of welcome module, right? So we're working in Canvas learning management system and everything's going to be in modules. It'll help you walk along the, the modules as you go. So for example, click on the start here button and it's going to start. You're going to have these buttons below the next buttons that will help walk you through the module. So go ahead and go through the start here uh, welcome module and uh, here towards the end of the start here module you're going to find a welcome quiz. Okay, so there's a welcome quiz and then there's also an introduction uh, discussion board. Okay, so you're going to need to do both of those. Those are going to be your first assignments for the course. So go ahead and look through, watch this welcome video and read through the, the welcome module and then take the welcome quiz. You have multiple attempts for the welcome quiz, so feel free to go back in it and retake it if you want to. Uh, that's going to be what I use. The welcome quiz is going to be what I use to mark your participation in the course. So with financial aid and with student service uh, requirements. Uh, to mark you off as participating, you're going to need to do the welcome quiz. Next is the introduction blog, you're going to, or discussion board. You're going to want to do that and make sure that you go in and you're going to, for all the discussion boards in this course, you're going to need to reply to at least two of your classmates' posts, including the welcome, uh, the introduction discussion. So go ahead and read through, get a couple, and respond appropriately to the discussion posts. There's a discussion guide le uh, link here if you want to understand exactly how the discussions are graded and what you need to do to do the discussion well, go ahead and look in the discussion guide link. So one thing that's that's uh, maybe a little different about this course than another is the textbook. So the textbook that we use for this course is a uh, an open resource textbook, so open educational resource book. So it's free online. So you don't have to actually buy the textbook. You can buy the textbook in the bookstore if you want a hard copy. So they're about 30 bucks in the in the bookstore. You can find one online. And uh, otherwise, the textbook is free. There's a link here in the getting started uh, welcome module that you can use to get you pointed towards the textbook. So that's something that's new. Also, so once you get the welcome, all the welcome stuff done, what you're going to want to do, you can go back to home and go to the coursework uh, on the coursework button there. And you need to, you're going to go down here and start working on module A. So module A, the, this course is divided into three modules, modules A, B, and C. And so we divide up the this uh, term into um, chapters that are alike. So this first module, module A, is going to be the foundational module. We're going to talk about some basic economic concepts and some basic uh, fundamentals of macroeconomics as well in module A. At the end of each module is an exam. So, so as you work through the work here, module A, you're going to come in here. There's going to be some reading and resources for you. So go ahead and look at the course objective, uh, read chapter one. There's some PowerPoint slides you can look through to help you kind of take notes and structure the, the information. And then at the end of your reading, there is going to be a quiz, chapter one quiz, 10 questions. Uh, you can take this quiz as many times as you want. It's out of a test bank. Is it'll pull new questions every time that you take it. And this, the quiz is key. Just so you know, the quizzes are going to be key to help you prepare for the exam at the end of the chapter. The more familiar you get with the quiz uh, questions, the better you're going to do really on the chapter exam or on the unit exam. After you do the quiz for the chapter, you're going to move move forward. There is uh, something that I call a WAP, so that stands for Workout Problem. 
for each chapter. Uh, chapter one, WAP is there. Uh, for those that are online, uh, I you're going to have a WAP video to help walk you through the workout problem. Uh, those that are in class, uh, you're not always going to have those, right? So sometimes you're going to have to come to class and get that workout problem uh, done in class, right? Uh, the, those that are online, go through this scenario. You're going to uh, look at the work, workout problem. You're going to download. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Chapter 1 Workout Problem. You're going to download this downloadable um, document here in the link. You're going to work on the workout problem. Look at it. Uh, try to do it. And then go into go back to your uh, go back to the module and watch the workout problem. Go ahead and click next when you're on the workout problem, right? And and go ahead and watch the workout problem video before you submit the workout problem. Okay. Make sure that you fix all your mistakes before you submit it. So you should get 100% on every workout problem. But just know this, the workout problems, doing the workout problems and understanding how the workout problems are done are going to help you a lot when you get to exam time, right? Because you're not going to have workout problem videos to help you or anything. You're just going to have to know how to do them, right, on the exams. So um, it's there to help you learn. And then uh, you can submit the workout problem video, just so you know, using any of these file formats here. I have all the file formats listed. The t I'll tell you, the most popular way to submit the workout problems, whether you're live or, or online, is to do the workout problem by hand, because there's lots of graphs and, and different things. Go ahead and do it by hand, uh, and then take a picture with your cell phone, and then submit that picture into the uh, submission link for the workout problem. Um, so that's usually the most popular way. A lot of people use Word. Uh, you can do that. Uh, other programs, make sure that they're this format. If you're using a Mac and you don't have one of these formats or you're using something else, like a Google Doc or something like that, don't submit a link uh, or another file type. Go ahead and, and save it as a PDF is probably the best way to go and then submit it as a PDF. So, so going back here to the modules. So we get done with the workout problem, let's say, right? And so something you want to do with chapter one, there is no discussion board, right? Because you, that's in the welcome module that you've already completed a discussion for week one. Now we move on to chapter two, six, seven, right? We're, we're skipping some chapters in between here uh, because we're doing macroeconomics. So we're going to skip ahead to six, which is macroeconomics. And then what we're, we're going to do is for, for each chapter, starting with chapter two, we're going to have uh, discussion boards. Okay, so really for each chapter you're going to have your quiz for your reading, you're going to have your workout problem, and you're going to have your discussion board with a topic from the chapter. So three things per chapter, um, and and then we're going to have uh, three quizzes or exams I should say, three exams for the term. Okay. If you are on an online student, you're going to have to take these exams in a TVCC testing center or with a TVCC testing center arranged proctor. So make sure you get those set up um, before the first testing date, which is going to be the last week of January. Okay, so we're going to go ahead after we take exam one, we're going to dive into module B, which is the second module and then module C, which is the last module. Something else you need to know is there is a term project this term, so that's going to be uh, something you can use uh, a lot, all the information you're going to be gaining from the term to, to create. What, it, what you're going to do is you're going to take one macroeconomic issue. Could be, for example, uh, unemployment. It could be the inflation rate. It could be uh, international trade, whatever, right? Lots of hot topics for the current day. And you're going to say, okay, what is the history uh, yesterday, right? What is the history of this topic in the U.S. economy? What is it like today? What are some current issues with that topic? And what kind of things 
are would you suggest for the U.S. economy to do? Like, if you were a policymaker in the U.S. government, for example, what kind of suggestions or what kind of things, uh, if you would look in the future, are ahead for the U.S. economy with this issue? So, really, yesterday, today, and tomorrow, looking at an issue, and uh, that's going to be the analysis paper. You can click on that and get into it and read up on it as you go throughout the term. So just know that we have weekly assignments for the chapters, exams to wrap those units up, and then we have a term uh, project due at the end. Uh, so that's pretty much everything. If you need to contact me, uh, the best way, uh, if you're on campus, come by my office. I'm usually in my office most of the time if I'm not in class. Uh, you can look up my Going back to the home page, I have, uh, there's a little button here to the right side of the home page, Mr. Bell. That's going to, this little uh, link right here is going to tell you what my office hours are. Um, here's my email. Here's my uh, phone number, office phone number. Uh, if you would like to meet with me as well, especially if you're an online student, if you want to meet via uh, Zoom, which is an online meeting tool that the college has. If you want to meet with me online via the Zoom um, conference room, then uh, email me. We'll set it up and we can meet. And so I'd love to talk to you and help you out with the course as we move forward. Uh, have a good day and we'll see you later.